Hello, welcome back to yet another Andy Drinks Beer, the show where Andy drinks beer. Today we have Kona Brewing Company's Big Wave Golden Ale. So this is a, not a Minnesota beer, uh, but this baby just sort of fell in our lap and here we are. And of course pairing it with the, the Hormel Tumbler because um, uh, the, uh, the Hawaiians, the Pacific Islanders, love them some pork. Love the Spam as well. Delicious. So right away, when you hear golden ale, you you, uh, you get what you what was advertised here. So see, nice, beautiful, golden color. It's a 4.4% ABV and a 20 on the IBU. So it's going to have a, a, a little bit more stout to it than the typical light beer. But it's still going to be on the more crushable scale. And that's the first of our five criteria, is this crushable or a sipper. Ooh. So you get the fragrance, you get the hyphenness. It's, this is almost, this almost smells like an IPA. And in fact, no time like the present, right? So you get a faint hint of it being an IPA, but it is still very silky smooth, uh, very full-bodied beer, and um, even though it's a little bit on the on the heavier side, you know, it's not a true like light beer, but it's still definitely crushable. Uh, second number five criteria: what food to pair well with this? Number three: compared to a movie or TV show. Number four: what does this remind me of? And last but not least, uh, our rating scale. On a scale of one to ten, Reuben Studdards, one being Reuben Studdard and ten being the best. How does this beer hold up? So, no, oh, we're taking another little. Oh, oh. This is surprisingly very, very good. I, I'm, I'm excited about this one. Uh, this is from their website. Light, balanced, and easygoing, just like Andy. As I prevent this can from blowing away. Uh, our brewers wanted to make a beer that went down easy after a day out on the water. Big Wave Golden Ale is just the ticket. Big Wave is a lighter body golden ale with tropical hop aroma and flavor. A smooth, easy drinking, refreshing ale. The use of caramel malt contributes to the golden hue of this beer and our special blend of hops provides a bright, quenching finish. And this, this is a gorgeous looking can. This is a great looking can. You, know, you see the logo. Uh, the little gecko there. Uh, <coughs> uh, they, they do have uh, brew pubs on Oahu and also the big island of ha Hawaii as well. Th that annoys me. When not native Hawaiians go ha ha Hawaii. It's like, get out of here. It's like when um, gringos say chipotle. Uh, chi oh, the, oh, we have the peppers of chipotle. Get, 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 get out. Let me drink it there. So when you drink this beer, oh, Hawaii doesn't have a this specific beer uh, flavor profile. So when, when I close my eyes, I, I don't get Hawaii, but this is still a great beer. But uh, what food to pair well with this? I mean, er, er, uh, pork. Um, if you're doing a pig roast, if you're doing um, poi, if you're doing anything like that, if you're doing um, some sort of large tropical fish, yeah, yeah, let's go well with this. Uh, compared to a movie or a TV show, so the lazy part of me wants to say Moana, right? Because it's a, it, it's light, it's easygoing, it's a, it, it, it's wholesome. You, you get what you're presented at the end of the day. So I'm gonna do that, even though I, I will say that the, uh, the, the song, better than. Uh, Better than Tangled, even though I I love Tangled, way better than Frozen. I have major beef with Frozen. Don't give in to the machine, sheeple. Frozen is a terrible, terrible movie designed just to move units of merchandise. Get out of here. Well, every Disney movie is, but Frozen more. Yeah. Because Frozen, Olaf is just. All right, not gonna do this. Uh, number four. What does this remind me of? I've not been to Hawaii, but I've been to a number of pig roasts where it's completely burying the pig with the coals. You crack in a couple beers, usually on a beach or someplace sandy, someplace that isn't going to light on fire very easily. And I, yeah, you're definitely going to have a couple of these uh, big wave golden ales going on there as well. And by the way, I will say 
pork. The Jewish people are missing out. Yeah. I mean, come on. I, I couldn't imagine not eating pork. I mean, it's maybe it's the Asian blood in me, and I, I know there's other several other religions around the world that don't uh, eat, eat pork as well, but I guess it's more for the rest of us. Even though all of us look like um, uh, like, like NFL D tackles, like all of us look like Damata Pecco because we're all like jacked out out here. You know, the Samoan look is good. So one out of 10 Ruben Sutters. Kona Brewing Company's Big Wave Golden Ale. Hmm. This is a tough one, because it's a good beer. It, eh, it doesn't really stand out to me, but it's you know great, comes from the big island of Hawaii. I could see myself having a, a few more of these, and it, it pairs well, but I, I, I'm a little wary. Like, is this true Hawaii brewing, or is this more like uh, like Foster's, uh, Foster's Hawaiian for beer, you know that sort of thing. I don't know. Either way, it, it, it's a good beer, and if it is the latter, it's absolutely slick market. I mean, look at this can. This is a great looking can. Yeah. So one out of ten, Ruben Stutters. I'll go seven and a half. Seven and a half, Ruben Stutters on Kona Brewing Company's Big Wave Golden Ale. Smash that subscribe button on YouTube. Give us a like on Facebook and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. All and Andy Carlson Show. Prost.